I started sewing in second grade, and it has been a dream of mine to make my own wedding dress. So when Johnny proposed in February, I knew what I wanted to do. I started by trying on different dresses to get inspiration for my dress design. With a silhouette and design idea in mind, I picked out some patterns and started to create a practice dress out of cotton muslin so that I could try it on and tweak it into the design that I wanted. I took a break from working on the practice dress to go to New York with my sisters to find the fabric for my wedding dress. We were able to find the most beautiful fabrics for the dress of my dreams. Back at home, I continued work on the practice dress to tweak and finish my dress design. With my practice dress finished and fitted, I got to work making my actual wedding dress. I've taken some time to think about my dress. I've stepped back for the past few days just to um, think through how to fix this. It looks great when I put it on the mannequin, but when I put it on myself, this is about 20 layers of fabric between tulle, lining, interfacing, and the actual satin fabric. And so I've taken some time to figure out what to do to fix this because this is way too much bulk for right by my armpit. So my solution that I'm gonna start doing right now is I've already started to take it apart, but I'm gonna take apart a lot of the bodice and I'm gonna take off the cap sleeve that is lined, interfaced, and with a thick wool satin. And I'm gonna replace the wool satin with a soft, silky charmeuse. And it won't be lined, it won't be interfaced, it'll be a little bit more flowy and less structured here with keeping the structure in the sleeve. So here's to hoping that this works and fits. At this point in the process, the dress was really starting to come together and I was so excited to get to try it on. With the base of the dress completed, it was time to work on the embellishments. A friend helped me cut out the lace. We started using a scissors and then discovered that a soldering iron worked a lot better. I took a break from hand stitching the lace to create a belt and was able to use a button for my grandma's button collection on the belt. I spent many hours hand stitching the large lace panel to the bottom of the dress. With the lace on the bottom finished, I added a few more details to the top and then my dress was finished and it was time to marry Johnny.